when he's not secluded in his Ural bunker, issuing nuclear threats and hiding from the world. President Vladimir Putin leads a remarkably extravagant lifestyle that would make most modern dictators envious. While he may not have erected gold statues in his honor or declared himself a living deity like some of his eccentric counterparts in Asia, Putin still ranks among the wealthiest rulers worldwide. Until recently, he enjoyed immense popularity and an air of mystery that captivated millions globally. However, revelations about his unstable and potentially destructive tendencies have tarnished his image. Whether depicted riding shirtless on a horse, swimming in a river, playing hockey, or even punching a bear, the Russian president exuded an aura of authority, brute strength, and oddly captivating terror. This extraordinary man leads a life filled with luxury, extravagant spending, and significant investments. Contrary to popular belief, President Putin's morning routine is far from sensational. On days without foreign engagements, he prefers to stay in bed until noon, which partly explains his intimidating appearance. Despite nearing the age of 70, his breakfast consists of a rather ordinary menu, omelette, fresh fruit juice, porridge, and sometimes cottage cheese for protein. However, even though his breakfast may seem plain, it is far from ordinary or inexpensive. The ingredients are sourced from local farms owned by the head of the Russian Orthodox Church, Patriarch Kirill. And the meal is prepared by a highly trained and well-paid cook in Putin's own kitchen. Due to his well-founded paranoia about potential poisoning, which is not unfounded given his position, Putin is a picky eater who insists on taking his personal cook with him on international visits. This loyal cook, who is handsomely rewarded for his allegiance, likely contributes to the deliciousness of the porridge served to the president. Additionally, all food consumed by Putin during diplomatic visits undergoes rigorous clearance by Russia's secret services, considering his past as a KGB agent and his awareness of potential threats. Interestingly, Putin adamantly refuses to drink milk, though it remains unclear whether it is due to taste preference or an aversion to cows, perhaps rivaling his disdain for American imperialists. Following his breakfast, Putin indulges in a cup of coffee free from any traces of Novichok, a nerve agent infamous for its association with him. This ritual takes place in his grand palace located just outside of Moscow, where he truly knows how to live in opulence. The Novo Ogoryovo estate boasts a plethora of amenities, including an indoor heated pool, sauna, small cold water plunge pools, luxurious furniture, and lavish decorations. Despite his numerous vital responsibilities as Russia's president, Putin prioritizes his physical well-being. Thus, after his healthy breakfast, he dedicates two hours to swimming, a time during which many of his governing decisions are said to be made. This dedication to exercise might explain why Russia's economy is currently struggling. As the clock strikes past 2 p.m., ministers, MPs, advisors, and journalists eagerly await Putin's guidance on governing the country. Given his deep-seated paranoia and control over every aspect of Russia's governance, visitors must endure a considerable wait time, typically lasting between two to four hours. Depending on the urgency of their query, journalists, especially, might need to bring snacks to sustain themselves during the wait. Fortunately, the waiting usually takes place in one of the Kremlin's luxurious conference rooms that resemble throne rooms rather than ordinary meeting spaces. While everyone eagerly anticipates Putin's arrival, he is still occupied with the one thing in Russia that isn't currently in decay, his body. After an intense swimming session, Putin proceeds to lift weights, not bears or cars, but regular dumbbells. Despite being 69 years old, Putin spares no expense when it comes to his fitness regimen, as his workout attire is rumored to cost over $3,500. He actively participates in various physical and contact sports, with his favorites being hockey and judo. Until recently, he held the honorary position of president of the International Judo Federation, but his involvement was suspended due to the Ukrainian conflict. After completing his physical activities, Putin dresses for the day. As one would expect, he adheres to a conservative dress code, predominantly wearing suits with ties. His preferred brands, Keaton and Brianna, are unfortunately unavailable to him due to EU sanctions imposed on Russia. Nevertheless, Putin's suit collection, worth tens of thousands of dollars, ensures he won't be seen in a barrel anytime soon. While traffic in Moscow is typically a nightmare, Putin bypasses the chaos by utilizing a private road accompanied by a police escort from his home to the Kremlin. 
Once in his office, Putin devotes himself entirely to work, devoid of any distractions. His office, famously devoid of windows, prohibits the use of technology for security reasons, leaving only old Soviet landline telephones for communication. Though not extravagant, this method effectively prevents electronic espionage. The president's first task of the day involves reading reports from the Domestic Intelligence Service, Foreign Intelligence Service, and his personal protection army to familiarize himself with Russia's current state. Afterwards, Putin peruses various publications, particularly heavily censored national tabloids that contain articles praising him, which are plentiful in the state-run media. He also glances through lightly censored broadsheets, considered quality press in Russia. However, he holds a less favorable view of the foreign press, as his image outside of Russia has been less than stellar. Nevertheless, being aware of global affairs allows Putin to exploit potential opportunities. In good spirits, he may even indulge in watching satirical videos of himself, though never in his office. Putin's daily schedule is meticulously divided into 15-minute slots, a common practice among world leaders to manage their time efficiently. Whether attending meetings, holding press conferences, or making significant decisions, everything is scheduled well in advance. This structured routine remains intact even during his international travels for official events. Putin spares no expense when he embarks on such trips, with his delegation occupying carefully selected luxury hotels approved by the FSB and thoroughly sealed before his arrival. His entourage includes three airplanes, one exclusively for him and his inner circle, another for the rest of the delegation, and a decoy plane in case an attempt is made on his life. Being extremely distrustful, Putin is accompanied by a sizable army of servants, chefs, cleaners, and other service personnel who might prove useful. As his waking hours suggest, Putin is a night owl who believes he has the best mental clarity during those late hours. He often continues working at home, avoiding the Kremlin, and saving strategic tasks for the night. It is not uncommon for him to make late-night calls to ministers or advisors discussing governmental affairs long past midnight. For dinner, Putin maintains a healthy, albeit occasionally indulgent, diet similar to his breakfast. On special occasions, he may enjoy luxury foods like caviar and pistachio ice cream, which he has been known to share with other world leaders. Contrary to the perception that he consumes copious amounts of vodka every night, Putin rarely drinks alcohol, except during diplomatic gatherings when it is required by etiquette. He typically retires to bed around 3 a.m., although his unconventional schedule poses no inconvenience since he has been single since his divorce from his wife, Ludmilla, in 2013. He currently lives alone with his dogs, including a black Labrador named Kuni, an Akita Inu named Yumi, and a Karakachin dog named Buffy. Putin cherishes his dogs, and they lead a life of luxury, surpassing that of many Russians. With a personal wealth exceeding $100 billion, the Russian president can afford the best for his loyal companions. Vladimir Putin, a creature of habit, keeps his vast riches mostly hidden from the public eye. Although he resides in a secluded, multi-million dollar estate and enjoys various privileges behind closed doors, he strives to maintain a down-to-earth appearance for his citizens. From a personal army guarding him to an isolated home and undisclosed perks, Putin's opulent lifestyle remains largely hidden from public scrutiny. So, would you choose Putin's secluded life with its immense wealth, or would you prefer the freedom of choice? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. In conclusion, President Vladimir Putin leads a life that combines elements of luxury, secrecy, and control. While he may have once been adored by millions worldwide and exuded an aura of mystery, recent revelations have tarnished his image, exposing a potential threat to global stability. From his morning routine and meticulously scheduled days to his extravagant estate and meticulous security measures, Putin's lifestyle reflects his desire for power, control, and physical well-being. However, behind the facade of opulence and authority lies a world where dissent is stifled, press freedom is limited, and the personal wealth of the leader surpasses that of his citizens. The choices between Putin's secluded life and personal freedom are stark, representing a trade-off between wealth and individual liberties. As observers, we must critically assess the consequences of such a lifestyle on the broader geopolitical stage and consider the impact on human rights, democracy, and global relations. 
The world watches closely as the Russian president navigates complex domestic and international challenges with implications that extend far beyond his personal routine. Ultimately, the choice between Putin's lifestyle and personal freedom is one that resonates not only with the citizens of Russia, but also with those who value fundamental rights, transparency, and democratic principles. The discussion and reflection on this topic are vital in shaping the future of governance and the pursuit of a just and equitable world. The decision lies with each individual to determine their own priorities and the values they hold dear. The world continues to evolve, and it is through critical thinking, dialogue, and collective action that we can shape a future where personal freedom and prosperity coexist harmoniously. If you found this discussion thought-provoking and insightful, we invite you to subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. By subscribing, you'll stay up to date with the latest discussions, analysis, and perspectives on a wide range of topics. Don't miss out on the opportunity to broaden your understanding and contribute to the ongoing conversation. Click the subscribe button now and be a part of our growing community. Thank you for your support.